in your home now? Yes, yes, I am at home. Okay. Uh, I planned to go to institute with my youngest daughter, but uh, uh, they prepared some small uh, toy like this one and asked me to go wow. out. Just uh, that's a, that's is a weapon now. That's is a... <laughs> just uh, to do something with them. So uh, I'm still at home uh, instead okay. to go to institute. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, so let me start. And uh, uh, today my talk uh, is devoted to multiple integrals with respect to Arakia point maps. Actually, I planned this talk as a continuation of the uh, talk of Katerina Glidina devoted to the same subject. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it occurs that uh, I have to do this talk much more early than I planned. Uh, so uh, uh, I hope that uh, I will be able uh, to present you uh, uh, final result. But uh, still, uh, the main idea uh, I can give. Uh, so uh, what is the uh, main uh, problem which we will discuss today? Let me recall you uh, that uh, uh, when we consider a ratio flow, uh, on the real line, uh, we have uh, the following picture. Uh, from every point uh, of uh, the real line started Brownian motion. Uh, this Brownian motion are ordered so uh, they cannot jump uh, uh, one another. And uh, uh, they are, uh, roughly speaking, independent before meetings. Of course, two independent Brownian motions uh, must meet on the real line. Uh, but before the meeting, these uh, are uh, non-correlated uh, Brownian motions. Uh, we can uh, see a precise definition in a lot of sources, and we mention it a, a lot of time here, so I will not uh, pay a lot of attention to uh, precise uh, definition of a radio flow now. Uh, for us, it is important the following thing. If we consider uh, arbitrary time t, which is greater than zero, uh, then it occurs that uh, all Brownian motions starting from the bounded interval uh, glue up into a finite, with probability one, glue up into finite number of pieces, uh, of points. So we have a picture uh, like this, when we have a finite number of points, which are image of uh, our flow. Uh, so, uh, one can begin to study this uh, uh, random measure, and I will call this random measure by mu t, uh, this index uh, related to the time. Uh, it can be proved that with probability one, the measure mu t uh, is locally finite, so uh, uh, not only uh, the interval, uh, bounded interval turns into finite number of points, but also uh, the situation when in some bounded interval uh, count of family of points run uh, is impossible. Uh, so we have uh, such a uh, point measure and uh, we will discuss today uh, multiple integrals with respect to such measure. Even I will consider uh, measure mu t restricted on the sum interval, uh, for example, zero one. Uh, what do you will do? And then, so you restrict mu t to zero one, or you restrict uh, initial measure to zero one? Not mu t, mu t, mm -hmm. mu t. That as we start from the segment zero one. 
Yes. Or no, 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 not not. Uh, we we start from R, and some points uh, came to interval zero one. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I will consider this restriction, uh, and uh, uh, in order to uh, simplify notations uh, further, I will uh, omit this uh, uh, this indices. So I will say mu t means restriction of mu t on the interval zero one. Uh, let me. Uh, take the function f, uh, which uh, belongs to, uh, for example, c zero one uh, in k power. Uh, then uh, one can consider the integral uh, k multi integral from f. Uh, let us uh, say fk, fk, u1, uk, uh, mu t, uh, du1, mu t, duk. Uh, and uh, now uh, we can uh, define the closure of the uh, set of uh, such integrals. Uh, I will take uh, this uh, linear span of uh, such integrals when k is less or equal than n. And uh, I will take a closure in a two sets. Uh, of course, uh, it must be it must be verified that uh, there exists second moment for every such integral, but Katerina already explained the reasons. Uh, so one can consider the linear span of the integrals of uh, multiplicity non greater than f. Uh, then uh, let us uh, denote uh, let us denote this. Uh, 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 closure by HN. And the problem which we discussed in Katerina talk uh, was the following. Was the following. Uh, what is the orthogonal complement HN plus one uh, minus HN? Uh, and uh, uh, when, uh, or can we say that it is not empty uh, because it is not evident uh, uh, from this definition? And uh, uh, how can we get the expansion? Uh, suppose we denote this by Kn plus one, then uh, uh, it is natural to ask that if we have some alpha, which is square integrate measure, uh, uh, which is back to mu, I will denote this by usual, uh, uh, not very precise, but very understandable notation, sigma mu t, uh, then alpha uh, is like sum of uh, elements, uh, this uh, small kn plus one, kn, excuse me, where this kn belongs to uh, kn, sum from n equals zero to f. Uh, so this is our a, uh, and uh, as it was shown uh, in previous uh, in previous uh, talk, uh, we uh, face uh, the following traps. When one can uh, uh, formally, uh, formally uh, calculate the orthogonal, uh, try to calculate the orthogonal component of this integral to uh, uh, integrals of uh, uh, multiplicity less 
then uh, of less multiplicity, then uh, we, uh, we, we must work with so called uh, K point densities related to a radio flow. Uh, and uh, we get uh, some combinations of integral operators, which is not clear how to uh, invert uh, and uh, get the precise form. Uh, today, I want to demonstrate an approach which seems to be fruitful and, uh, uh, I, and uh, this approach allows us to get precise formulas for this uh, orthogonal complex. Uh, let us start uh, to uh, let us start from the uh, examples which are not uh, the measure uh, from Arati flow, but also point measures in which we will understand what we can do, what we can do really in this situation. So let us consider uh, firstly two simple. Uh, key examples of point measures for which one can find uh, this uh, orthogonal components of multiple integrals uh, more or less easily. Uh, the first example is the form. Uh, let us consider this sequence psi n. Uh, this is uh, IIT sequence, and uh, I will suppose uh, I will suppose that uh, they have uh, absolute continuous uh, they have continuous distribution. Let uh, xi a one uh, have has, has a continuous distribution. Also, I will suppose that uh, we have uh, new, this is uh, an integer value uh, random variable, uh, it takes non negative values, uh, such that new is independent from psi. Uh, and finally, let's organize the point measure uh, mu. I will keep the same notation, but without key. Uh, mu as a sum from n equal one to mu uh, delta uh, xi n. Uh, so uh, this is a construction which uh, when uh, mu uh, is a Poissonian, leads uh, to Poissonian point measure uh, with the uh, structure measure uh, equal to distribution uh, of uh, xi multiplied by intensity of mu. But now it is not necessary to say that mu has some specially fixed distribution. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let us define uh, such a point measure and then uh, let us do, uh, let's suppose, of course, that uh, new has a uh, final mathematical expectation in order uh, uh, to allow us to consider uh, some integrals with respect to this measure. And then uh, one can construct, one can construct uh, the integrals uh, for example, uh, I will denote the integral with respect to point measure uh, by the brackets uh, for uh, simplicity. F1 u, uh, it is uh, now uh, the sum of n equal one uh, to a new with uh, F xi n. Uh, okay. Uh, then uh, uh, let us uh, consider multiple integrals and try to do optimization. So what we will have? We will have fk mu uh, k. 
where mu k is a usual power, mu k is equal to mu multiply mu multiply and so on multiply mu. Uh, then, then uh, one can uh, one can say that when we do orthogonalization, of course uh, we uh, uh, and we want to uh, find orthogonal complement for this integral to uh, integrals uh, which multiplicity is uh, less or equal than n k minus one. Then, uh, of course, uh, we uh, have to subtract diagonals there because the, uh, here we have the integrals with respect to diagonal. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we, we have here such kind of uh, this. Of course, uh, it is uh, clear that this is a sum, and uh, this sum is equal. Uh, I want I k equal one to new here this f k uh, psi uh, e one psi uh, e k and uh, uh, this sum includes for example such where all indices are equal. Uh, and uh, of course, this is just uh, integral, uh, this uh, separate sum is integral of multiplicity one. Uh, the same happened if we uh, allow even two of these indices to be equal. So uh, actually what we can, uh, what we have to discuss, we have to discuss only such part of this sum where all indices are uh, different. So uh, uh, we will consider uh, not this uh, integral uh, which is back to the uh, such uh, of the the calculation. Yeah. Uh, and uh, linear span of uh, random measures that you construct is it dense in some set, in some sense, in the set of random measures in a polyhedra, for example? Uh, you see, uh, I will not consider linear span of the random measure. I just fix my random measure is fixed. This is one random measure. What I am doing, I am considering such integrals. I can uh, vary this one, this, uh, this fk. Uh, takes place, uh, for example, in uh, space C uh, R K bounded. Yeah. So uh, from this F, we get variety of the random variables, of the variety of the integrals. The point measure is fixed, okay. and okay. the the main uh, question of my talk is the procedure. How uh, to uh, uh, get the orthogonalization of these integrals when measure is, when the point measure is fixed. Uh, but but this point measure is a measure of special type. Like uh, this, uh, yeah, yes, of course, uh, of course. Uh, I am not pretending that I can uh, give you an answer uh, for general uh, point measure. Uh, uh, I am starting from simple examples. This is uh, uh, just some small generalization of Poissonian case. Uh, and uh, then we will go to the idea which will allow us to get answer in the uh, case of a radial point measure. That's all. I am not pretending that I can do the same. So, 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 so these random measures have some relation to, to a radial flow? Uh, this not. Oh, okay. this, unfortunately not, but we will see uh, how to uh, get something useful from this. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we consider uh, this sum only when uh, this uh, all are different. 
are different. And then uh, we have instead of this uh, measure, uh, which is uh, simple discard product, uh, we have so-called factorial measure. Uh, this is what left from the power of mu in uh, k power uh, when we subtract all diagonals, generalized diagonals from the R in k power. Uh, and uh, Katerina uh, last talk uh, even presented uh, relationship between this uh, mu k and mu k. It is not necessary to recall it uh, because uh, we have such structure. Uh, then, uh, what we need, what we need, uh, we need to find uh, uh, some uh, something uh, which we will uh, uh, construct from this FK and which will be orthogonal uh, to every uh, every uh, um, random variable of such kind. You see, let me. Let me take let me take just one summand and let me uh, do the following. Uh, I want to find psi e k. I want to find uh, uh, what I have to do with this uh, random way uh, in such a way that. Uh, when we will have a product psi j1 psi jl where l is less than k, uh, I want to have uh, this expectation uh, to be equal to zero. Uh, here I will uh, put this uh, usual uh, weak renormalization. Uh, notation, but uh, uh, now it is not uh, Haussian, so but it is related to Haussian normalization. So what what must be this uh, what must be this expression? And it can be very easily uh, understood. Uh, let me recall you that all these uh, variables are independent. So. Uh, let me construct the following uh, the following uh, way. Uh, I have function f k. I have function f k, uh, which uh, we uh, defined on R k, uh, and it is uh, continuous bounded. And of course, I can suppose that it is symmetric because we have, because this sum is symmetric. Uh, all this multiple integral uh, uh, can be uh, taken with respect to uh, for the symmetrized uh, uh, integrals. So uh, uh, this are bounded, continuous, and symmetric function. Now take uh, U1, UK, which belong to. Uh, which belongs to our uh, space R, and then organize the following sum. Uh, here is a sum uh, with respect to delta, where delta is a subset of U1 uh, UK. Uh, maybe uh, it's better uh, to indices. Okay. Uh, here is uh, minus one, uh, minus one. Uh, we will see uh, in modulo of theta. And then uh, here we have expectation. Uh, I said that it is symmetric. Uh, I said that it is symmetric. So F uh, from U1, uh, U2, but somewhere we have Xi, uh, uh, Xi uh, J, then again uh, U, uh, U J plus one, and so on. 
So uh, how uh, somewhere is Xi and how I am organizing this uh, expression? I just take uh, indices J from delta and on these indexes, I put instead of variables U, I put Xi. I put Xi. Uh, so after this, uh, we get uh, we get the following expression. And uh, 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 I'm sorry, I have a question. How do you choose the numbers of Xi? Uh, it's uh, the number of psi uh, are chosen as follows. Uh, I have a sum which is respect to all subsets of our uh, set one to k. We, we don't see this delta under the sum. Uh, uh, here but now we, uh, we understand that it exists. Oh, uh, yeah, so the left, yeah, the left yeah. side of blackboard, whiteboard is not. Oh, uh, now, now is it okay? Uh, uh, now we, okay, we see but, the left side, but not the right side. Uh, this is a good position. What right now? Right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, because <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, this is the expression, and uh, uh, one can check now that uh, this is a combination of the uh, functions uh, of the following kind. This is a sum uh, 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 which contains f game when data is empty subset, and then uh, combinations of functions which depend uh, on the smallest number of waves. Uh, so I agree. Could you please uh, explain us again? So uh, you take all deltas from all subsets from one subset, case, and then mm -hmm. you substitute instead of sum. Uh, in, so J belongs to delta. Yes. 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 And on this, uh, so the uh, the picture is following. Here is. Uh, uh, one, two, and so and k, and uh, some uh, and the delta is uh, some uh, some of these indices. So on these places, I put uh, xi. Uh -huh. You put xi, and then consider mm -hmm. expectation, and then take some over all possible deltas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, this is uh, this sum is written for non-symmetric f. In case of a symmetric F, uh, of course, it can be simplified using binomial coefficients. Uh, but uh, after this, uh, let me uh, let me denote it by F with tilde. Uh, and after this, uh, uh, we have the following. If I put here, if I put here F with tilde, F with theta, then uh, I'm getting the expression which is orthogonal to any such uh, to any such uh, kind uh, kind of random waves. Why it is so? You just see uh, what is uh, uh, what is here. Uh, here is the set. Of different random variables. Here is important that our random variables have, uh, have, uh, have absolutely continuous distribution. Uh, we cannot uh, have here uh, the same variables. Yeah? Uh, we have different random variables, and uh, the number of such variables, L uh, here and K here, and this is greater than. Because uh, we discussed that we need to find something which will be orthogonal to all such. Then uh, it is definitely here exists some psi. Uh, for example, let, let it be psi E1, which is uh, 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 absent here. And uh, uh, of course, it is different from this one. So this psi is independent from all this set of other psi. And from this, and independence of psi, 
they are independent and equidistributed. Do you see the expect uh, conditional expectation of this uh, term uh, uh, when we uh, say that we fix all other size is zero? After this, we can continue our calculations, but we already have zero. So, and and why uh, expectation is zero? Uh, because uh, here you you see, uh, actually it is uh, much better to have example. Uh, for example, f u one u two. What it is? What it is? It is uh, the following. This is uh, like um, f u1 u2 minus minus expectation of f xi1 uh, u2 minus expectation of f uh, excuse me f u1 xi2 and plus expectation of f uh, xi1 xi2 this is the expression in, in this case, yes? Exactly uh, by this formula. Now, let us, uh, let us do experiment. And uh, for example, uh, multiply this thing. Uh, uh, for example, let it be now from Xi1 and Xi2. So it looks like formula for conditional expectation. Yes, is this smaller? Yeah, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, this is uh, some kind of uh, normalization of F. We subtract uh, conditional expectations uh, for all uh, subsets, but we have to do this like uh, uh, inclusion uh, uh, formula. Uh, so uh, what we will have. let me say here that we have this e1 yes uh, we already take uh, the expectation here we have e2 uh, and here we have e12 yes uh, then uh, I can put here instead uh, I can put xi1 xi2 xi2 uh, xi1 uh, xi2 uh, uh, and here is xi1 uh, and here say one say two. But now what we can do? Now let's multiply it on a different uh, on different uh, um, functions of such kind. Then what we have to do? We have to put here j psi, uh, For example, if it is psi three, then everything is okay because if we take uh, expectation here, we have. Uh, so uh, what is much more interesting? Suppose we have here xi1 and uh, xi2, xi2 yeah? then uh, what we will have here? Let us take here uh, j xi2, then uh, j xi2 uh, minus, uh, minus here j xi2 and plus j xi2. Uh, then uh, what, we, what we will have? Let's take uh, expectation. Yeah. Let's take uh, expectation. Then uh, one can uh, consider here conditional expectation. Firstly, uh, which I expect uh, when we fix psi two. Uh, Andrei Antonovich, may also I ask, I mean, uh, already when you put xi inside the function f, it seems that it is zero immediately, right? Because you have, uh, if your function f is symmetric, because you have two terms with plus and two with minus, and probably from it, it will follow immediately. Uh, let me check, let me check. Uh, you see, uh, this, uh, this notation, this is one image. This is uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. Uh, then you can take the conditional expectation and put the expectation outside, and you will see immediately. Exactly, that exactly. This is the idea, and we will have zero. Yeah, you're right. 
So uh, this is the idea how we can get renormalization in this uh, way. And uh, we get uh, renormalization uh, for, for the function f. Uh, so what I, what I did, I constructed from fk the function f theta, such that this integral, oh, excuse me, I have already notation, fk, fk theta uh, mu k uh, is orthogonal uh, to any inter integrals, uh, for example, uh, jl uh, mu l. It does not matter, I can omit here brackets. Yeah. Uh, for any l, uh, which is less than a. Uh, and uh, we see that uh, the terms which we subtracted under our construction are exactly the terms uh, with uh, number of three variables, u1, u, and so u2, and so on, which is smaller than k. So I proceed in, uh, in a good way. Uh, I proceed in a good way. And uh, uh, we know that we get uh, uh, in this way, we get the uh, uh, integrals, which are, uh, we, we get the orthogonal part of the integral. Uh, so, uh, and uh, it is uh, more or less uh, evident. Uh, if we just recall the Poissonian construction, Katerina last time uh, showed us uh, the uh, construction of orthogonal uh, uh, complements uh, for multiple integral in Poissonian case. It contains exactly the sign plus minus and integral which respect to Lebesgue measure. In our case, we have the integral which respect to the distribution of xi. But we said already that if nu has Poissonian distribution, and psi has uh, density p, then we will get Poissonian point process with structure measure uh, uh, intensity lambda of nu multiplied by this p. So if we have Lebesgue measure uniform distribution on some interval, we will get exactly the Poissonian answer. So this is just small generalization, but it shows us how we can proceed. One can think about the space. Uh, of course, uh, as um, uh, Professor Pilipenko said uh, in the beginning, this is a very, uh, very uh, artificial set. Uh, but uh, we can still uh, slightly generalize it, uh, and uh, one can uh, one can see uh, that. It can be generalized uh, in such a way when our xi are not independent, but they are uh, uh, they uh, they distribute joint distribution uh, is invariant under finite permutations. Uh, then, using definite theorem, we can do more or less the same. The same because after definite uh, uh, after uh, we use definite decomposition, we will have again the sequence of independent random values. This is one. Another example, uh, let me show you, another example uh, came uh, from the uh, following point measure. Now I will discuss the point measure, not on the interval or on the real one, but I will discuss the point measure uh, on the uh, finite set. So, for simplicity, I will suppose that we will have point measure on the set uh, zero n, uh, one to n. This is natural numbers, and our point measure will be uh, concentrated here. And how I will uh, I will uh, take it? Uh, I just will take uh, it as follows. Uh, uh, our point measure mu uh, of a set A is the number of points A intersect with delta, where delta uh, is uh, 
randomly chosen randomly chosen subset of uh, the initial set then uh, what we can uh, what we can say uh, randomly uh, I uh, I'm saying in a sense which is usually uh, used in uh, uh, random combinatorics uh, we say choose it randomly if uh, it is uniformly uh, distributed from all sides. Uh, it means uh, uh, that the structure of this measure is the following. We have new one, uh, new n, which uh, just take uh, zero and one with probability one half. Uh, and then uh, this uh, measure mu uh, can be rewritten as follows. Measure mu can be written as follows. Uh, mu of a set delta uh, a is equal to sum uh, from e belongs to a uh, new e. Uh, then uh, we see again that uh, when we will have when we will have uh, our uh, random uh, our multiple integrals multiple integrals then we will get the expressions then we will get the expressions like follows uh, new uh, e1 new e k uh, i just will write uh, the weight Yes, uh, I just write the weight of the measure mu uh, break, k bracket and e1 and k are different and uh, uh, we have to do something uh, in order to get the uh, in order to get the expression which will be orthogonal to any new j1 new j uh, k j a where l uh, is less than k. Then uh, one can easily see what we have to do because here again we have a bigger set of random variables than there. So at least one is independent from all other uh, variables. And then if we consider not such variables, but a new e minus one one half instead of new e, then uh, we will get uh, what we need. We will get what we need. Uh, so uh, again, we have the same uh, procedure of orthogonalization. We just uh, instead of the function uh, f, uh, we consider the function f. Uh, with the uh, sum uh, where uh, sum uh, where somewhere uh, where we put e1 k uh, we will have one half one half for example and here is uh, new e3 and so uh, with uh, minus one in appropriate uh, power exactly as before because this is expectation this is the distribution uh, the expectation of our uh, so uh, we have more or less the same procedure which gives us uh, the answer in this case uh, now let's came back let's come back to uh, the case of a radiant flow and uh, 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 may okay. I ask a, a short question? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so for just for one fixed term, uh, we understand how uh, we can uh, write, uh, I mean, uh, the random variable which will be orthogonal. Uh, 
Yes. Um, but is that, I mean, uh, now, uh, as I understand, the goal is to write everything via the multiple integrals, right? Uh, yes, is that clear uh, that just, uh, uh, just add the sum. Now multiple integrals are the sums. And uh, uh, you see, this uh, inner sum does not depend on the special choice of this index. So now I just put here E1, EK, uh, they are different uh, or all are different. And then I get uh, the uh, renormalization of our integral. Uh, the, the number K was fixed or you, when you define it, define it, say fixed. it's the first example. K is fixed. Okay. Here we, we have uh, the same E1, EK as here and then we organize the sum, and this sum is related to the choice of this one half. Uh -huh, okay. So uh, maybe I have to write as well. Mm -hmm. I, see. Mm -hmm. I see. And then you will have the integral with respect to the, I mean, the measure mu, which you denote with, uh, with, with in power k with brackets, right? Where you don't have. I think so, uh, this, uh, this is uh, the integral, this uh, renormalization, because now what I can do. This sum can be written there. Then uh, the sum with respect to this one half mm -hmm. uh, gives us deterministic function. Yeah, this is a renormalization of this f. Mm -hmm. And then we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so this is the answer for the uh, uh, such discrete example. Now let me explain why I am taking this discrete example. Uh, because uh, when we consider a rate of rule and related to its point measure on the interval 0, 1, then uh, of course we have the following picture. Uh, so this is the Aratia flow, uh, it gives us several points there. Actually, this is our uh, point measure now. Uh, in our case, it is concentrated in these same points. Uh, then uh, I was trying to approximate to approximate this measure by the measures with a much more simple structure. How one can do this? Let us recall that uh, we have the dual flow to a Rakia flow. So uh, uh, if we consider trajectories of the dual flow, uh, it will uh, look like follows. And uh, then we know that uh, what happened. If we start, uh, if we forget about the initial flow, oh, uh, very sorry, uh, I just say, hello, da da da. Да, получилось. Да, все, большое спасибо. Я тоже, я тоже. Ну вот это они еще не писали. Ну я буду в курсе вас держать. Извините, я сейчас тут работаю. Просто немножко занят. Я буду держать вас в курсе. So uh, if we forget about the initial Aratia flow, then we will have the following picture. This is the interval 0, 1. And uh, here we have the Aratia flow, which starts from this interval. So what we uh, discuss, we discuss these points. Uh, I just uh, draw two not three, but it does not matter. We discuss these points, uh, and these are exactly uh, the points which are nice our point measure. Uh, so how we can discreditize the, uh, the, this picture? 
Of course, let us take the uh, partition initially of the interval uh, into small uh, uh, with uh, small uh, intervals like one over n, one over n there, and then uh, we will have the following picture. We will have the uh, interval zero one, which is uh, partitioned on the small intervals. And uh, somewhere in this intervals, we have heavy points. Uh, so I decided uh, just to speak about the new point measure, which is the following. Let us take the uh, middle point of any interval. Uh, let us take uh, midpoint of any interval. Uh, and uh, uh, then we will get a picture like before. We have just discrete set and we have the uh, point measure on this set, like this one. Yes, uh, I just uh, okay, this maybe and this one, yeah. So uh, we will have uh, the picture, which is very similar to the uh, uh, previous example. Uh, so, even let me uh, let me say uh, that we have new one, new two, and so on. Let me let us discuss new n. Uh, maybe I have to write new n minus one, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and again. The, they take values like zero and one, but of course now they have a, a very complicated joint distribution. They are not uh, independent uh, and equidistributed and the, uh, as it, uh, it, uh, it was in the example. But now let's try to organize uh, the following. General procedure. Again, I want uh, I want to uh, have such a product new one uh, new e one new e k, and I want to find uh, new e k. And I want to find the orthogonal complement to any other product like this new, uh, like J1, new J8. So let us think how we can do this. And then let's apply uh, just uh, linear algebra. Let me recall your general procedure how we can find uh, the orthogonal complement uh, of one vector. Let me say now on the um, language of vectors uh, of one vector uh, H to the linear span of uh, vectors E1, uh, Em. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to find orthogonal complement of H to this one. Uh, and uh, this also a complement uh, can be expressed, can be expressed via Gram determinant as follows. Let us consider the following Gram determinant uh, E1, E1, uh, E1, E2, and uh, E1, uh, En, and then uh, E1, H. H. Uh, then uh, do the same E N E one E N E two and so on uh, E N E N uh, E N H. Uh, but the last one will not be uh, the uh, scalar products, but just like this. E1, E2, uh, 
uh, and so on, EN and H. And then uh, take a, a determinant. Uh, well, we understand that this determinant will be linear, uh, linear combinations of these vectors. And it is very easy to see that if we multiply it on uh, some of vectors E1, E2, uh, and so on, we will get the same uh, line there, so the determinant will be equal to zero. Uh, so this is just general construction of the optional complex. Let's apply it. Let's apply it to our, uh, to our case. And uh, what we have? We have just uh, this one, new E1, new EK. And then uh, here what we have, uh, we have uh, the set of uh, expressions like this one, new uh, 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 J1, new JL, where L is less than K, where L is less than K. Uh, uh, so, uh, what we have? Uh, these are these vectors. Then we can write this determinant and say, okay, this is orthogonal complement, uh, but uh, what we need, we need H with the coefficient one, not with six, because uh, as we remember, uh, H came from this expression with a such coefficient, like this smallest determinant. So what we need, actually, this was a question which we discussed last time with Katerina. We need that this, uh, this expression is not zero. So what we need, we need that all these vectors are linearly independent. And uh, now uh, let's see what, uh, what we can say. Uh, what does it mean? that we knew all such vectors. Uh, what does it mean that we knew uh, all such vectors? Uh, even uh, we uh, did more, mm -hmm. we did more. Uh, where we can define all such vectors? We can define all such vectors on the set uh, where uh, we fix this is equal zero one new two is equal zero one and then new n uh, is equal zero one then uh, choosing uh, any uh, sequence of zeros and ones we get the uh, elementary probability even when considering this random variance, we cannot detect any other even than this one. Uh, but for, uh, for us, for our Aratia flow, uh, we forget uh, about the initial Aratia flow, now it is dual, uh, but uh, they are the same. So uh, what does it mean for our Aratia flow? What does it mean that we fix this uh, sequence? It just means that uh, we uh, say uh, this, uh, for example, if here is one, we just say uh, they are not glue up to the moment. Uh, if here is zero, we just say they are glue up. Uh, if uh, here is one again, okay, then uh, here is, the, okay, then maybe this one, maybe this one, and so on. So when we uh, say that we have uh, the fixed sequence of zeros and ones, we have here uh, some requirements on the gluing of our trajectories. And uh, we discussed it a lot of times. It is evident that any such event has positive probability. We can uh, organize any uh, graph like this one, uh, and uh, it has a positive probability. So if I consider this one, it is positive. Then let's back to here. 
If we have these random variables, which are defined on such finite probability space, the independence does not linear independence does not depend on these values on these probabilities, uh, because uh, uh, we have now that all points of our probability space are positive, and we know that in the case which we considered before, where they are independent and have uh, equidistribution with uh, one half, they are uh, independent. We proved it. We have uh, we have in hand uh, the orthogonal component for any vector. Yeah. So uh, from this point of view, one can say now they are linearly independent. Then our determinant is non-zero, and we can do this division. Uh, now uh, my time is uh, uh, over, but what I have say, what I have to say, uh, of course, it is discretization. But when we will go to the uh, limit case, what we will have? You remember what is this probability? This probability is exactly related to uh, point density. So in the limit when n tends to infinity, such such probability is uh, one over n in, in power uh, where we have ones. We want to have ones in, in some, uh, for example, j multiplied pj uh, of, uh, uh, and we have here the points uh, u1, uj. So uh, we understand asymptotic behavior of any scalar product. And uh, after this, uh, I, uh, uh, I am sure that we can go to the limit. We can go to the limit and get the expression for the orthogonal uh, component of multiple integral for, integrals for Aratia points. This is the idea of what, what I wanted to present you today. Thank you for your attention. Maybe uh, there are some questions, please. Uh, may probably I start. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so regarding so here also, as I understand, uh, you have uh, so this situation is uh, is completely different from the example number one, right? Because there you uh, oh yes yes you this, this, and this, this, you were inside this, the function, but but now this eta appears as multiplier. So therefore, yeah. uh, from the orthogonality of that vector, you will have the the orthogonality. I mean. Of that expectations which you consider it, right? Yes, yes, you're right. And by the way, uh, as I understand here, I mean in this procedure you used the the backward uh, Aratia flow only in the case to prove uh, the independence of the vectors, right? So therefore, it seems that this could work for any point measures, right? Where you can uh, no, somehow uh, prove independence. Uh, 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 the same, uh, uh, I uh, already thought about this, uh, but uh, for arbitrary point measure, it is uh, up to this moment. Uh, but it is a um, uh, very simple point measure, just concentrated on the finite number of points. I think that uh, it is uh, uh, maybe even known as for point, uh, for point measures concentrated. Uh, for us, it is interesting that uh, these probabilities has a meaning. They, they have asymptotic. So we can play with it and we get the final result. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Also, of course, uh, it is interesting to understand how the structure of the point measure reflects on this orthogonalization procedure. And uh, first two examples uh, also uh, have to show uh, that uh, in a simple case of compound boson or uh, interchangeable system or uh, uh, this uh, independent weights, uh, we have a very simple uh, procedure of organization. Uh, by the way, may, may also one more question. Uh, yes. The last one from my side. Um, 
Regarding the Poisson case, uh, as I understand, Katya last time uh, uh, said uh, us about the precise, precise exactly, I mean, exactly. form. Can we get from this procedure exactly what? Uh, exactly, what, uh, what and Katya, I mentioned that. What Katya uh, I mentioned that. <laughs> you see, uh, I just said uh, that uh, what we what we did, we uh, uh, we did uh, this uh, minus one uh, modulo delta. And then we have the expression like f, uh, uh, for example, xi1 here. Yes. Then uh, what does it mean? It means the integral with respect to the uh, here u and with respect uh, to the, uh, for example, pu du, where p is the density of xi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Suppose that p uh, is equal to uh, constant on some interval. So we have uniform. What we will have? We will have a Lebesgue mesh. Yes. And this is exactly possible. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Maybe some other question. Why, why do you have independence of this new? Uh, here? Yes. Uh, no, I haven't. And this is the crucial point. But they have you, how, very but complicated. Uh, yes. But uh, you see what I did. What I did. I just use a general expression of the orthogonal complement, uh, comp uh, complement which use uh, gram term. You remember, yes. And uh, when this uh, procedure work, this procedure work well. When we have the family of independent, uh, linearly independent random vectors, yes? Then let us uh, consider the space where these random vectors are defined. They are defined on the finite space. This is the space when we just fix the value of uh, any uh, new, uh, this is the space. But what is the uh, uh, what is uh, the meaning of fixing? For example, here we have one, here we have zero, again one, and so on. This is uh, the uh, requirement that uh, these two trajectory, if we have here one, uh, must uh, go separately to this time. These two must glue up, and so on. And we know that such probability is positive. Yeah. And then. We understand that we have a, a finite probability space like this one. And uh, on this probability uh, space, we have the measure P1, which is, in the, uh, which is equivalent to the uniform distribution. And for uniform distribution, this uh, new are independent in, uh, in probabilities. Then uh, we uh, know this linear independence. Then we can, uh, came back. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, maybe some other questions, please. Did you mention that this works uh, for exchangeable random variables, your, your example? Yes, uh, yes. Exchangeable? Yes. Yes. And, and, uh, and what about, what about uh, the condition that you need uh, a continuous distribution in the independent case? Uh, uh, Oh, you see, uh, this uh, right, right question, uh, and uh, uh, I think that we have to look at definite theorem uh, we, uh, where we, we get this uh, conditional distribution of the sequence. Right. Uh, and uh, I think that we can, uh, we can proceed some uh, sufficient condition when we will get the uh, continuity of one dimensional distributions. Uh -huh. But uh, this, is, this is right questions. Uh, you are right. We, so we you need to... some extra condition, not just exchangeability. You need some. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. All right. Thanks. Um, okay. Uh, so if there are no other questions, uh, then uh, for today we finish our work. And uh, who will be the next speaker? Georgi, do you remember? So, uh, uh, according to our schedule, you are the next speaker next oh, week. Yes, yes, but uh, I already discussed this with, because this is our joint work with Yasmina Georgievich, 
And yes. uh, I very hope that she will do this. Uh, but uh, we will see. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, for today, we finish our work. Uh, thank you very much uh, and uh, bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.